Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we embark on a journey which is Black Friday. But what is this promo that we've been selling players from our teams for because we expect those player prices to drop that we've also been buying players for because we expect those players to rise? We've been doing a lot of preparing for this promo already, but what is this promo? Whether you're an experienced ultimate team player or this is your first year of Black Friday on foot, we're going to break it down for you today and get you in the know about why this promo has so much hype and what you need to be watching out for even in the next couple of days heading up to Black Friday. So if you're excited for it today, drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new. Before we get into that, we're going to look at yesterday's content because it was a busy day with that big icon pack, but we also had some other SBCs that we need to cover. Yet again, another FC Pro Live player via SBCs, Jen Rowe, the Australian Mad Lad. Three-star, three-star. I think they gave him a nice boost. It's a decent card. I hope he gets some upgrades. I think it's the weak foot and the skills for me and the medium, medium work rates that just don't make it that great. But the stats are all right, and he is 84 rated. So if Mark 11, the FootWiz Pro, is able to get him some upgrades, he could actually be going to an 86 straight away because a plus one inform upgrade to an 84 would take him actually up to a plus two 86 rated, which could make him Hullet Gang straight away. So this is an SBC that might fly under the radar a little bit. It's 33,000 coins and it's very downvoted just because I think the links, uh, he does link to Sissoko, the Road of the Knockouts player. But other than that, there's not a ton of hype for that SBC, but it's one that you may not want to sleep on just in case there are some upgrades that end up dropping. Yesterday, we also had the Fizzin, I think is how you say his name, or PH Zin from Ajax, the pro squad. He is another piece to the puzzle that we are building in objectives. So make sure you get that SBC done. But the big boy SBC yesterday was, of course, the Max 89 Icon Upgrade Pack, which I did it straight away, like literally five minutes after it dropped. It's going to refresh later on this week, of course. Perfect timing for the Black Friday promo. And um, yeah, it's a very upvoted SBC. It was it was 88% right away when it dropped yesterday. And it's upvoted because it's cheap. What a price for this Icon SBC that I was expecting to be 200,000 coins. But of course, what do we mention a lot of times? When an SBC like this is cheap, that usually means it is not worth doing. Guys, the pack weight on this pack is horrific. Like it is last week on Sunday with the hero pack that actually had some really good pack pulls. We opened them on stream. They were really, really good. But this week with this pack, no, like, I mean, some people got some good pulls, but the consistent weight of the packs that we were seeing was absolutely terrible. And since there was so much hype for this SBC still, we saw prices move kind of like we expected. Fodder did have a rise, but it didn't last long. But icon, icons on the market, excuse me, they did rise a ton. I'm looking at guys like Butcher Gueno, Kaka. Butro Gueno and those and those higher tier icons that were the most popular cards, the, the biggest cards you could pack, right? That everybody hoped that they would be packing. Those cards actually had some pretty good price rises up afterwards the, after the SBC was dropped because the pack weight was so bad and people had to go back and buy the cards that they were hoping they were going to pack. Now, fodder is a really weird story because fodder was on its way up and it was going to go even higher and it did go up, right? I mean, 86s went from 11K up to 12,000 coins since this was only an 83 and an 86 rated squad inside of the SBC. It was 86s, 87s, and 83s that had the biggest price movements yesterday, but they didn't go up for long and they're actually even lower now because EA dropped lightning rounds yeah you can see 83s 1.4k to 1.8 who would have thought that 83s would have been a great investment for an icon pack probably not too many people but that part of the fodder market that impacts golds guys fodder is really low look at 88s 22k 89s were 33,000 coins they almost still are 90s are below 50k people are still buying up this fodder as fast as they can because prices just seem to drop ever so slightly every time EA run these lightning rounds. The good news is if you have a lot of your fodder, like I still do, I haven't sold anything, guys. I still got my 88s that I bought at 22,000 coins on bid when they were 24K. I thought I was getting a great deal. Now I'm just getting it at the same market price as what they actually are. I bought 89s at 34. That's exactly where they are now. 
we're holding, right? Because we've known all along that our investment in this fodder is more so towards the end of this coming week with all the SPCs coming for Black Friday. And what this the lightning rounds that EA have put out have actually done is it's created a really good opportunity. Like I'm going to go in here and start stocking my club with some more 85s because I need some more of these 85 rated. And right now, according to Footbin, they are six and a half K, 6.5 K for 85s is mental i'm gonna go in club stock on the lower tier i'm looking at the 85s some 84s as well if you get 84s below 3k that's the part of the market i think you can still buy right now i mean you can still buy all fodder right now it is technically low with a play of the month mbappe sbc incoming and with black friday incoming as well fodder looks like a good buy still but i just wanted to talk about it today in length because a lot of us had fodder already seeing it go down is never good but really, we're waiting for the end of the week to see those fodder prices rise. So it's kind of, it's not that scary when you know that what is coming is a Black Friday promo that literally every year makes fodder prices rise. Now, fodder prices that did go up yesterday were Informs. Informs were selling over 30,000 coins once again. Um, and they would have went higher if EA would not have run the lightning rounds as well. A lot of lightning rounds this past weekend, and it's only going to get even crazier towards the end of this week. Also yesterday, in all of the madness... The FC Pro Player Live cards dropped a ton, and I actually went out to the market and bought out a bunch of these cards. I bought a bunch of Tovans at around 53k, I bought four of him. I say a bunch, right? I didn't go all in. I'm now wishing that I would have. I bought two Deli Alis, one to try out on my team, and also one for an investment at 90,000 coins. He's up to 130k. The drops yesterday on these cards were insane. He went from 120 down to 90k, and he's back to 125 absolutely mental i bought a cola moani as well for 692 he's kind of rebounding back after he dropped off crazy amounts yesterday so you know we're kind of watching these fc lab cards i would not be surprised if they would go up today after weekend league rewards since they are live items even with black friday on the horizon these are live cards that people want to buy because they have the potential to upgrade. And I'm very, very curious to see how they move today, but I think they will go up. So it could be a buying opportunity if you want to get your hands on any of these cards because they could go higher. But also I could see them going up for a little bit and then coming down as we get closer to Black Friday and into this next weekend. So there might be a couple buy windows on these, but I just wanted to talk about that and cover that because I did buy a good amount of those yesterday. Now also in yesterday's content, we had ourselves an evolution and it's another evolution that just seems okay it's the pacey winger 2 and it again is only nine games to get an upgrade on the card it's all about pace right rapid and quick step as the play styles not play style plus just regular play styles a pretty big pace boost on the card but again it's a max overall of 81 rated and a max 82 pace that you can put in this guys i gotta say this evolution is, uh, we're going to do a video on the second channel about evolutions because it seems like we're going the wrong direction with these. They're still good and they still provide so many opportunities to upgrade players for your club, but especially in terms of like meta cards, which is not 100% what these are made to be for. Let's be honest. This is more meant for fun and grindability aspect, but in terms of the power curve, it feels like some of these are starting to fall behind, especially with the upgrades that they're giving. Guys, I will say, Trossard is one of the best meta players you can put in this Evo to upgrade, and he's like 700 coins on the market. 89 pace, 83 shooting, 82 passing, 88 dribbling, 4-4 high medium, striker, left wing, not a bad card, but if that's one of the better ones that you can get from this without having to go through and jump through multiple different evolutions, I mean, this one was kind of cool, Relentless Winger 2 and Pacey Winger, you could do both of those that are available right now and end up getting a card with multiple different play styles like that's cool but honestly guys for a lot of these evos i'm waiting i'm sitting back and i'm saying all right i'm gonna wait and see what other evos come out and maybe i can do some more combinations with evos um during the 20 day period i think it is that these evos are both live so that's what i would kind of encourage you to do as well maybe sit tight and wait on those before doing too much we also had a cup mode that was dropped yesterday but honestly i don't think i've ever cared about a cup mode less than this no offense uh, i don't need the xp uh of course the new season xp is coming anyway this thursday with the new season coming and the packs in here are decent but i'd rather just play rivals and play the normal other game modes maybe even just do squad battles for evos because you at least get progress in that and right here you know, you're in a you're in a friendly mode, so you don't get progress to that. But I think that cup was just kind of, you know, it is what it is. If you want to grind it, go for it. Packs are decent. If you're trying to stock up on some fodder before Black Friday, that is a gameplay grind that you could 
are taken. Now, let's get to the content at hand, the conversation at hand. It is Black Friday. And I'm going back to a couple of years ago to really start to talk about what this promo is about and why it's so big, right? Obviously, Black Friday is big in real life because of the sales, the shopping, right, and the deals. And that's what EA tries to play on with Black Friday inside of Ultimate Team. They say Black Friday is back, one of the most exciting campaigns in Ultimate Team with non-stop content released over one weekend, which is very accurate. Like, guys, this is one of the first promos of the year. It's probably, like... I would say it's the first big marquee promo that everybody looks forward to, and it's just one of those promos that is massive, right? You think about, like, team of the year, team of the season. Like, Black Friday is on that sort of level because of how many SBCs, how many packs. Like, you think that SBC section's already busy? Just wait. I mean, a lot of these are expiring, to be fair. EA knows they had to get a lot of these SBCs out of here before Black Friday because it's going to get even crazier inside of this game with SBCs, content in general, and packs for sure but that's what black friday is all about right it's about packs and packs in the store packs via sbcs and just everything going crazy of course ea put stuff in packs as well that makes it worth wanting to open packs like best of team of the weeks and big time promos and we have a big time promo coming this year as well but let's start from the beginning let's go in chronological order right when does black friday even start well in the past couple of years it's actually started the day before friday it started on thursday thanksgiving in the u.s the day before black friday they usually drop a pre-black friday promo and they release a best of team of the week. So this was the best of team of the week that they released yes, last year. Neymar informed De Bruyne, Holland, Tomori, Fede Valverde, Usman Dembele. And this starts the whole madness, right? They drop pre-Black Friday flash SBCs as well. That's a big thing to try to get the hype going. But what you see a lot of times with these best of team of the week cards is if we know a best of team of the week is coming, they get panic sold and their prices drop a ton. Last year, I don't think there was a, a lot of news for Tomori. He went from 313,000 coins. He gets put back into packs. He went all the way down to 223. I remember the best of team of the week last year dropping a ton in price on like Thursday and Friday. But then, as you can see here, actually rebounding a decent amount. They were really, really good to trade with. Um, but this year, with the way things are looking... With the pack weight, I mean, and how supplied cards are on the market, I don't know if I would mess with that stuff too much. It's really going to be a decision that we'll have to see kind of in the moment. But think about cards they could put in the best of team of the week this year. We have an Mbappe in for him. We've got a Holland in for him. Fede Valverde, Virgil van Dijk, uh, Sun, Salah. There, there are plenty of different in form cards that could get re-released into packs this week. So, like VVD, how much is he? 590k that's 585 that is up a lot for a vvd card that could potentially be re-released into packs later on this week if you have any of these tradable informs in your club i would be very careful because they are going to get some of them are going to get re-released most likely this week and drop a lot in price so that's one of the biggest things that starts out early is the best of team of the week now i also mentioned it already but flash sbc's They'll probably start on Thursday, right? Because Friday, we're going to have a ton of Flash SBCs. As you can see here, EA tweeted out the first Flash SBC of Black Friday is here. And it actually, they start Black Friday, the promo, really early in the day on Friday as well with the Flash SBC. And sometimes even with cards and packs, like way early before content, 6 p.m. normal drop time. But back to Thursday, we'll probably have some of these Flash SBCs as well, which if you don't know what a Flash SBC is, Basically, think of it as one of those pack SBCs where you go into the upgrade or the challenges section. You think about like UEFA marquee matchups where you get a decent pack for doing a couple SBCs or basically the same thing as these packs that we're getting for the pro players. That is what the flash SBCs are most of the time. But I mean, there were flash SBCs last year on Black Friday that were completely different. Like they, they dropped flash SBCs for players like there was silver stars there were um regular promo cards that were a part of it as well you can see here like toko a combi was an sbc pre black friday flash sbcs there was only a couple of them right so on thursday last year we had a um pre black friday flash one two best of team lucas in packs and then in i'm guessing that means out of positions plus one i'm not entirely sure what that is and then it really kicked off on friday you have an 80 plus upgrade an 85 plus double upgrade there was a van percy SBC 84 plus upgrade. We had the messy flashback. We'll get to the SBCs a little bit more on Black Friday in a second, but it all starts Thursday with the first flash SBCs and the flash SBCs are just basically packs. One thing I will tell you is get your club. Another way you can stock your club 
are with gold commons from the top popular leagues with good links, right? I know that gold commons sell for a little bit right now anyway because of the SBCs that are available, like the crafting. How much are gold commons? They still 500. I'm not even searching golds. Let's try that again. Golds for 500. Uh, they're still insta selling for 500 because of the crafting objective. So it makes some of these cards a little more expensive to stock in your club. But keep a close eye on those non rares and rare golds from the top five leagues in the top nine nations because some of them will absolutely ex explode in price. Sometimes during those like flash SBC rounds, there's players that go from like 500 coins to like eight, nine thousand coins as people are all sprinting to do an SBC. So just be careful. You can get banned for that stuff this year, but there could be a good opportunity to stock some cards in your club and make some coins off of that. It just creates insane trading opportunities with solution trading as well. Now, also as a part, you can kind of see, I mean, it did include some packs in here as well. Lightning rounds. Guys, there's going to be packs. By the way, shout out to FIFA U team for this website. A lot of data from last year and uh, Ultimate Team Black Friday content from years before. But a part of the whole Black Friday promo is the packs, right? Remember last year? This was during the World Cup, right? But the Black Friday 100 pack was something that dropped a couple hours after content on Black Friday the actual day. It was a 250,000 coin pack with 100 rare gold players inside of it, all untradeable. This pack at that time was something that we had never seen before. It's, a, it's crazy to say this. We've already had a pack in this game this year of FC24 with 100 players in it. I'm pretty sure there's already been one. Now, it's not the same as this one. Um, but you know, there's going to be, you think the store is crazy right now with all of these packs inside of here and all the untradeable packs, there's going to be lightning rounds every single hour. There's going to be, there might be a 500 K pack to start off this black Friday this year. Like it could be that crazy of a pack because it's all about EA selling packs. There's probably going to be like, as you can already see here with this one, a season opener, ultimate players pack plus gets you an extra pack for opening this pack already like that sort of stuff there's going to be a lot of not quite two for one but a bonus pack inside of a pack that little plus symbol on the pack design there that's going to happen a lot during this weekend promo as well there is going to be tons of packs tons of lightning rounds tons of untradeable packs as well because ea are trying to get that bag and of course they're going to be getting that bag because not only is there going to be a best of team of the week in packs there's going to be a promo in packs as well now these cards are probably going to come into packs friday at the normal content drop time that's how it worked last year i mean we were in the middle of the uh, world cup promo last year but we had the road to the world cup cards if you remember Wijnaldum, Jesus Corona, Sadio Mane, Hyunmin Son. The, we had an Mbappe card, right? So, you know, we're going to have a promo in packs this year, though, called Thunderstruck. This is the regular card design. But like we had last year, the we had the World Cup icons in pack last year. Remember, like we had um, Puyo. That wasn't a really good one. But we had, I think we had a Figo. We had a Butragueño that was in packs. We're going to have icons this year as well with the Thunderstruck icon cards. So promo icons coming out once again and regular promo cards. It's going to be, guys, they always go out. They always go all out for promos like this. I mean, last year we had an Mbappe that was in packs, right? Marquinhos, Modric, Sadio Mane. Like we, we named off some of those. You guys remember this team from last year. It was hype. And EA go out and try to sell the packs. Oh, yeah, we had an R9, a Zidane, a Cruyff, a Eusebio, Figo. How can I forget those World Cup icons? Oh, yeah, because they didn't even get close to packing them. But that's what EA is going to do. They're going to put a bunch of packs in the store. There's going to be maybe not discounted packs, but it's going to seem like a deal. And they're just going to be absolutely insane packs to try to get people to open and spend coins on it. And also, with the crazy cards and packs, it's going to work, right? It's going to work. It does it every single year. If you spend FC points... There'll be plenty of opportunities to do that. There'll be some absolutely mental packs. And also, with all those packs that are going to be opened, what do EA do? They know that people are going to have cards in their clubs, tradable, untradable, and everything else. It's going to have to go into SBCs, right? Absolutely. There's going to be so many SBCs, and this is the whole reason why we've been investing in this fodder for this amount of time. Speaking of SBCs, there's a lot of player SBCs that are expiring here in the next few days. Ledley King. Negredo, Iago Aspas, Gordon, like a lot of these player species are going away. That's to make room for an even crazier amount more of player species, upgrade pack SBCs that are going to be coming out in this next week. 
that is going to be taking all of our fodder. Like we go back on the FIFA U team website and look through some of these SBCs that were in here. Um, you know, you've got an 87 plus base room at icon. You're going to have icon and hero upgrade packs out at the same time in this next week. Um, you're going to have multiple upgrade pack SBCs, all the flash SBCs, right? Players, player picks, uh, probably like draft tokens. And one thing that they always do, remember this card from last year, flashback Messi. They, it seems like they always drop a massive flashback SBC on the promo Friday of Black Friday as well, or at least sometime. Remember a couple years ago, we had the Ronaldo, always jokingly called CR three and a half. It was a Juve flashback Ronaldo that was like 86 rated or something like that. We had the Messi last year. We had Benzema a couple of years before that. There's always a banger of a flashback player SBC as well, along with icon SBCs, the promo cards from the Thunderstruck promo, maybe a Thunderstruck icon player SBC. There's going to be like everything out. So it's the content that makes the fodder rise that why it's the reason why we've been investing in all this fodder and why, you know, we've got our club stocked full, our transfer list stocked full, and there's still time to get in as well. As you notice, the fodder prices are still low enough to invest in 100%. And we're going to be talking a lot more about the market impact, this promo and what it means in the upcoming videos later this week. It's too much to cover in today's video, but stay tuned because we're going to talk a lot more about the market and how it's going to be impacted. Right now, the market's still really just chilling. Yeah, it's kind of low overall on a lot of these cards, but we haven't seen a ton of crashes over the weekend on cards that, you know, I was expecting to see some crashing on. I think it's going to take some more news about Black Friday, loading screens, hype about the Thunderstruck promo. Mendy's still 1.05, like crazy, right? That's a card that needs to drop off in some panic. He might not because it's Mendy and his gold card stays expensive forever. But, you know, there's still more panic to come 100%. But how is it going to start today on Monday? That's the next question that we have to try to answer. Mondays bring us our content tweets, right? Like EA tweets every single Monday of what content's going to be coming out. Today, what we're looking for is a League One Player of the Month car design for an SBC on that Twitter X post today, right? We're looking for a Player of the Month in Bappe News. Guys, this SBC could be tomorrow, Tuesday, and that would be the perfect storm for EA Sports because, yeah, that would mean they can drop an Mbappe SBC and make everybody feel like if they start it or even if they don't start it, it's an SBC they could grind towards and work towards during the whole weekend of Black Friday. And then EA goes to sell packs and there's just opportunity there. You, you pick up what I'm putting down. That's exactly what it seems like is going to happen this weekend. So watch out for an Mbappe Player of the Month as a part of that tweet. Or probably just like the Player of the Month logo. Like the SBC card design as a part of that. I'm wondering how much EA is going to tell us about content coming this week before Black Friday. Because I don't think they're going to spill the beans too much about what's going to be coming. But maybe they'll talk about a flashback Player SBC. Maybe they'll talk about icon player species as well and more upgrade packs. And I don't know, maybe end of an eras. Those could be included in uh, Black Friday as well. I do 100% know that we're going to get more player SBCs, guys, because we did not get a mini release yesterday. And we are still short two of the FC Pro Live players, Vanden Boomen and uh, Hein, the Swedish center back. I think both of those are going to drop as SBCs today and tomorrow, kind of spaced out one day each and probably dropped along the way with some more of the challenge SBCs to get the puzzle completed for that puzzle objective for the FC Pro Live. So I'm definitely looking out for a couple of player species coming in the next two days. Upgrade packs today is kind of a question mark for me because the Centurion's Crafting Upgrade, which I have to do 12 more of to finish the whole thing off, um, we still have a week to do this, which is kind of nice. I'm glad that EA put this out for so long because like, yeah, I need stuff. Um, I, I need to finish these off. We might have another upgrade pack today, though. I mean, think about it. EA is going to do everything they can this week to try to drain our clubs of fodder before we get to Black Friday so that also we feel like we have to buy packs and load up for Black Friday. Um, and I'm only going to finish off these crafting SBCs, and then I'm, every pack that I open is going to be, well, I might even save packs, but um, every pack that I open is going to be kind of replenishing the club because you're going to want to go into Black Friday with a full club that makes doing SBCs and making coins a whole lot easier. So the only reason I'm doing this right now is because I'm trying to finish off the objective before we get to Friday. Uh, but definitely watch out for the upgrade packs. Remember there was a campaign bag or campaign mixed party bag type thing that was added to the code as well. Kind of like the RTTK 84 plus that included trailblazers, but throw centurions in that mix as well. That SBC might come this week before Black Friday, but it's definitely going to be one that might refresh multiple times per day and you know 
and maybe refreshes every day. Who knows? We'll be able to complete it a lot. Like SBCs like that are going to be everywhere during the Black Friday promo. So I'd watch out for that. That's another reason to probably get invested in on the 82s. The 83s, they're starting to go up a little bit already, as we saw in the graphs and looked at those. I really like 84s and 85s the best. Um, and it's not like a super big hurry, I don't think, to get invested on those because these cards should stay low-ish until we get to like Wednesday or till one of those kind of gamble packs, uh, the party bag type packs gets released this week. But I would say it's probably a safer time now more than ever to continue to stock your club. Um, and I wanted to touch on something that I kind of already mentioned, saving packs. Am I really going to save packs? I might save a couple. Um, just to try out, you know, saving a couple packs for the brand new promo just to see what it could bring. But, I mean, guys, I can't imagine that this Thunderstruck promo is going to be something that's super crazy packable. Think about it. All the packs are going to be opened. Last year, it was so hard to pack a Road to the World Cup card, and they were actually really rare on the market. It almost seemed like EA got the pack weight wrong last year on all the stuff that was in packs, if I'm remembering correctly. Pack weight was not good. So, we'll see what they do this year with the pack weight, of course, but... It's kind of up to you. A lot of people are saving packs since it's such a big weekend. There's going to be so many SBCs that are going to be out and available. So kind of have to make that decision for yourself. But uh, right now, I am not saving any. Maybe as we get later in the week, I will do that. And if, as of right now as well, I'm still trading. I'm thinking that the market could rise today into a Monday. So I'm watching the out-of-packs cards. I'm specifically watching these FC Pro Live cards once again. A lot of them are up. Delhi Ali is 133K. That is that is wild. But like guys like Kulabali, he still seems cheap to me. Karamoa still seems cheap. Simakan still seems cheap enough to buy. Talvin seems decently cheap. I'm keeping an eye on a lot of these cards because I think they could go higher today. For a short-term flipping scenario, these are the cards that I would watch today. A lot of the rest of the market, I would probably not mess with too much. But that's what I'm thinking for the game today. Fodder probably rising up after content or even before after the weekly rewards and then before content, and then probably the same thing with the FC Pro Live card. So we'll see what news we get today, but stay locked into the YouTube channel over the next couple of days because we're going to be talking a lot about Black Friday and how to prepare for it. And also, stay locked in on the second YouTube channel. We're going to have multiple videos there going up about some of the icon packs we opened yesterday and also some of my thoughts on evolutions lately in this game. But if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate for the account. See you guys in video tomorrow. Peace out.